Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Libra October 27, 2022. It heralds a period when you can successfully initiate new diet regimes, healthy routines, and satisfying work schedules or improve and revamp current ones. In the weeks ahead, you're in a solid position to take care of business, handle details, and increase efficiency. Circumstances around you can push these matters or motivate and prompt you to want to make big changes. It's an excellent time to recognize and honor your limits regarding how much you can give and do. Be sure to pace yourself, and don't jump into something without thinking. A new direction will come, and you don't have to push for it. It's common to feel tuckered out around the time of an eclipse, after which your energy increases. This eclipse is aligned with Venus and can be about starting fresh in your work or with health and self-care programs, sprouting from loving feelings and wonderful inspiration to make improvements. Charm, joy, compromise, and socializing or mingling can play a large role in your success story. Today marks a solar eclipse in the heavens. A destined fresh start is arriving like a fleet of angels trumpeting from above. Solar eclipses bring faded new opportunities depending on where they fall in the sky. You were literally born to experience this moment. This eclipse brings a flurry of activity to your solar sixth house of routines and employment. This will bring you a lot of responsibility and may distract you from matters of the heart as you become especially busy. Be conscious of building a work and life balance that allows time for sex, love, passion, and adventure. Work is about to get interesting, to say the least. Prepare for anything and everything to come to fruition during the next six months, as the new moon partial solar eclipse in Scorpio opens up an unpredictable cycle in your work life. Your habits, routines, and schedule may be subject to last-minute, jarring changes. What you do now could be radically different in six months. This may even include your position or where you work. Given that this is an eclipse portal, you may want to hold back from manifesting, setting intentions, or doing a ritual. While with the moon still in your work sector after yesterday's eclipsing new moon it is more about having your work hat on, as the moon aligns with Venus, this will also give you a better sense of where the money is. This comes just as the planet of money not only moves into her final three weeks in your work sector but just as pulling ahead of the sun, Venus is finding it easier to steer things in a lucrative direction. Give the gift of good communication, when you are feeling pent up inside count to ten before you try to put your thoughts to words. Today's aspect may cause you to be inexact and the most critical things need to be communicated. Your emotions may be hard to control. Get rid of excess energy by working out at the gym, if possible, or going on a long walk. You will be thankful for it at the end of the day. Today's vibrations will make you emotive. You'll probably have to be on your tiptoes. Professionally, you will need to discuss, question, and tighten your close relationships because if you don't tensions will arise. This isn't the day to be in the spotlight but rather to stay in the background and try to find harmony. Sentimentally, you will go through some highs and lows, but your relationships will be freer with no effort on your part. The moon is not only still in your work sector after yesterday's eclipsing new moon but after an alignment with the sun yesterday, the focus is more on Venus today. This comes just as the sun and Venus, who returned over the weekend aligned are starting to separate, with a chance today to not put only put heart and gut on the same page but in a way that gives you a better say in where to channel the momentum this has created. Just as new doors are opening on the job front, they are preparing to open to the past, second chances and untapped potential on the career front. Between the moon's departure from your romantic sector yesterday and its return to your relationship sector tomorrow, it was always going to be important to hold on to the spirit of romance before looking to your relationships. Especially with all planetary activity on the romantic front coming to an end and with the romantically charged lunar vibes of the last few days helping you to capture this. Our eyes in the sky. Today is a unique day that asks everyone to really dive into their subconscious mind. 
With much of the day pointing toward our need to focus our energy on meditation, it's an important time for some much-needed self-care. If the news and media are getting to you emotionally, don't even look at the things that will upset you. This might mean turning off all social media, hiding the phone and stepping away from the computer for a period of true rest. The strong conjunction between the sun and moon in fierce Scorpio is going to kick up a lot of stuff at once. This is a channeling aspect in the astrological world, especially as the solar path enhances the intuitive ability of your mind. It's the perfect day to write in your journal and dive into the intense self-help work that you need to move forward. It's a great time to discover hidden things about yourself that you haven't been able to connect to because of the state of the world. It doesn't mean that you don't care. Empaths and other extremely sensitive people are going to be even more clued into the vibrations of the community without even looking online. This is a good cry kind of energy. Some healing modalities include playing your favorite music, dancing, singing, taking a soothing bath and even just chilling out and regrouping in the evening. Just after midnight, the moon enters Scorpio, exiting its void of course which began yesterday afternoon. We are now just a few hours out from the Scorpio solar eclipse, making this an occasion for meditation, silence, and release. Many of us will be asleep at this hour, and we might undertake this shedding process in our dreams, letting go of old projections and fears and aligning our intuitive compass. Over the next two days, we remain in this inquisitive lunar terrain, seeking deeper communion with our unconscious mind. Before dawn, the Scorpio new moon solar eclipse catalyzes changes to our psychological landscape. As with all eclipses, we are encouraged not to use this time for intention setting. The sun and moon's interaction with the lunar nodes prompts karmic events, allowing the universe to work its magic upon us. We should trust the process rather than try to control our fate. However, should we need a meditative prompt to ground ourselves in what is sure to be an energetically turbulent day, we can use the Sabian symbol for the first degree of Scorpio for reflection, tourists on a sightseeing bus. This image is food for thought. It posits the idea of being an observer moving past an observation. We are tourists of our own experience, curious as to the landscape moving by outside our window. We might also consider this Sabian symbol in terms of taking a glimpse into our past, as the luminary's conjunction with the lunar south node suggests that past behaviors, interactions, and conflicts may now consume our attention. If we can detach from the illusion that the past is present, and turn our focus to our future, we can avoid getting caught up in unconscious traps now. This eclipse is additionally aligned with Venus, emphasizing our relationships. We may be destined for run-ins with old romantic partners, friends, or colleagues. Or situations transpiring within our current relationships may be eerily reminiscent of prior engagements. We can be curious, like the tourist, about the lessons these people have to teach us, but avoid jumping to scorpionic conclusions. No need to exit the bus. Matters will become clearer over time.